Uh, Samgele, good morning to you. So perhaps uh, uh, one of the foremost questions in the public's mind is whether the ANC first will tell us who their members are who are allegedly implicated in looting the Alexandra Renewal uh, Project Funds. Well, uh, Kroli, you've come to understand that the Alexandra Renewal Project has alleged, the keyword being alleged over the years, to have been a key benefactor of uh, three particular ANC heavyweights in the province. That would be the former MEC of Human Settlements in the province, former provincial chairperson of the ANC, Paul Mashatile. Then would it be Lebohang Maile's brother, the MEC of Human Settlements, in uh, currently and former MEC of Economic Development and Agriculture in the province. That would be his brother, Mike Maile him being the one who was in government and he also having people alleging that he benefited unduly because of the links of his brother who was very close to Paul Mashatile at some stage uh, Mike, Mr. Mike Maile having been part of the Alexandria Renewal Project Mr. Maile, the MEC of human settlements now, that would be Lebohang Maile, is here to lay a charge of criminal injury against uh, Mandisa Mashiho, the provincial chairperson of the Economic Freedom Fighters here in Gauteng, and also to lay that similar charge to, his, to her organization, the EFF, whom she was speaking on behalf of. But I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to throw straight to uh, MEC Lebohang Maile and ask him this all-important question. In which capacity are you laying? this criminal injury case and this lawsuit against the EFF and Manisa Mashiko. Is it in your cap as MEC of Human Settlements or in your private capacity as Mr. Lebohang Maile? I've been insulted in my personal capacity as Lebohang Maile. I remember the lady in question um, saying he wants, she wants to address this thug, Lebohang Maile. So she was addressing me as Lebohang Maile, so it is in my private capacity. Mr. Maile, what is the main grievance that you have with the words uttered by the EFF MPL, leader of the caucus and provincial chairperson of the Economic Freedom Fighters? Firstly, the accusations are baseless, but secondly, they are damaging to my reputation and my image and my integrity. So I will not um, take them light because uh, this is what they always do. Uh, they always uh, insult people, spread lies, and uh, obviously pull a uh, popular stance to get support. So it's not going to happen at my expense. Mr. Maile, I'm going to say this with the greatest form of respect and ask this question. You have been perceived as the poster boy and the one the youth respect and the ANC elders go to, particularly the purported Alex Mafia, then allegedly led by the Treasurer General and former Chairperson Paul Mashadile. Your brother, Pramek Maile, is also have seen to have been part of that inner circle. Did yourself, Paul Mashadile, Mr. Mike Maile, your brother, benefit unduly from the Alexander Renewal Project, which is where the Alex Mafia term came from? Well, uh, I think someday uh, people will tell you the story about the Alex Mafia. It's, it's not, it doesn't come, it's, it's, it comes from exile. Uh, uh, I think there were ANC leaders there who were very powerful, like um, I think Josiah Jaila and the late uh, May Sol Rest in Peace, John Tantla, John Mudise, and all that. So it comes from there. So people are just using it loosely. So, But the, 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 the fact is, I can tell you without any fear of contradiction that I've never benefited unduly in Alex Renewal Project or any uh, government uh, projects. If I uh, if I was guilty and I knew I was guilty, I would have resigned. I would not have came to this police station. Uh, I would not have wasted the police time. I would not have wasted my advocate's time. Uh, I would have just done the honorable thing. So I've got uh, my integrity intact. And that is why, without any fear uh, of contradiction, I can tell you now, I've never benefited. I can't speak on behalf of the TG of the ANC. I can't speak on behalf of my brother. But I trust. Uh, their integrity. I know they are men of uh, integrity. And uh, I'm sure if uh, there's any specific questions you want to ask uh, to them, they will answer. Uh, and I don't believe that uh, they are corrupt. They have never shown that uh, um, any, any, any semblance of corruption. I've, I've worked with them. They have, they have taught me a lot and they've never taught me corruption. So if they were corrupt, they would have taught me corruption. But I'm sure uh, if you speak to them, they should be able to put the uh, matters uh, into perspective. But I know that uh, they will also be opening 
uh, cases because they are aggrieved as well. And we agree this is not a matter to be treated lightly. Uh, remember, this started with Julius here in Alexandra, uh, attacking the TG of the ANC, uh, unprovoked, um, attacked my brother. Uh, and then uh, this one who's trying to mimic him, uh, who's, who wants to be relevant, um, she's now making these claims and i'm not going to uh, let her uh, uh, get away with it mr maile it's very surprising that the very same eff leader julius malema whom speaks very highly of you even at some point was your political ally was the ally of paul mashadile the treasurer general going towards the anc's uh, manga conference where they lost where he lost out as treasurer general is it not ironic that your former ally accuses you your brother and the treasurer general of benefiting from the Alexander Renewal project? Well, you must ask him because he made the accusations. And um, uh, and what is the basis of the accusations? Uh, I thought during the elections he was just campaigning. But now uh, this other lady takes it further uh, now after elections. And in fact, uh, she had accused me after being in office for a day of having demolished houses of... Uh, um, uh, 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 Alexandra people um, and, and, and she was so confident she said with such a con conviction and, 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 and hence she called me a thug and a few days later she was uh, uh, exposed that she lied she went there with the mayor the mayor apologized she never apologized for accusing me wrongly and you see I mean what kind of a person is that what kind of a person is that so uh, about the irony I think um, um, uh, Comrade Julius uh, can, 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 can talk for himself then. Mr. Maile, my last question to you is what do you want out of this lawsuit that you have against the Economic Freedom Fighters and Mandisa Mashiho? What are you hoping to benefit? There's two things. There's a criminal process, the, the, the case that we've opened here. I want her arrested and charged. So I will get the case number today, and I'll be told who's running the, uh, who's uh, managing the case. I'll be sitting on his or her neck to ensure that she is just she appears in court. I want her in court at least next week. And the second process we are writing to her today to um, uh, to do a, a start the civil uh, lawsuit process, and uh, it has its own procedures. So once we've done that, we will then. Um, uh, put a price, what we want. And whatever money we want from both the EFF and Mandisa, it's money that we're going to donate to the people of Alexandra to develop uh, uh, this place. Is your brother, Mr. Mike Mahile, doing business with your department? No, he's not doing business with my department, but uh, there is a company that is doing business with my department that he's got a relationship with. Him, personally, he's not doing business with uh, my department and we have agreed with him that he can't do business with my department or he can't continue having a relationship with any company that does business with my department because that will be indirectly doing business with my department. So um, that is why I would also be uh, alerting the Integrity Committee of the NC, the Integrity Commissioner of the Legislature. Uh, we have agreed no member of my family should do business with uh, uh, my, my, my department or any of the entities uh, of my department. Well, seriously, out of time, I'm going to ask you this direct question. Yeah. You look at this deplorable condition that the people of Alex find themselves in. Yeah. You as the ANC have been in government since the dawn of democracy in Gauteng. Yeah. The Treasurer General of the ANC, Paul Mashadile, has led human settlements here. Mm. You are now here. You are a very close ally of Paul Mashadile. Are you not ashamed that you have not done anything, anything yeah. for the people of Alex? It's not true. You are just being a typical uh, journalist, a typical uh, self. You don't know nothing about Alex. There's uh, extension uh, seven, extension all those extensions. There's Tutumani, There's uh, River Park. There's London Road. There's new schools. Egu Kanyiswe, Skien, where I, I used to uh, attend. This police station is new. So you know nothing about Alex. Uh, just being a typical journalist, uh, excited and just throwing things around. But we'll have a proper sit down and discuss about the Alexander Renewal Project and other renewal projects. I think after here we should go to the hostel. I'll go with you and I'll show you a thing or two that people don't and have that hostel, in Alex. And that hostel is run by the city. We run 62, there's 62 hostels here. I think we run about seven of them and we will be giving you a plan of what we're going are to do. Are you happy with the conditions those people are living under? Absolutely not. Uh, we are not happy and that is why we're going to turn them the son of the soul of this place, but this place is in a deplorable condition. How do you feel? We're not happy, of, of course. There's a lot of things we've done here. 
and there's still much more to be done to say we have not done anything it's not true it's lies it's propaganda and that propaganda has been um, uh, perpetuated by our political opponents so don't buy into it just be an objective uh, journalist the day we have time i'll take you through and show you what the Alex Renewal Project We've got time, Mr. Maile. We'll certainly take that drive. I hope you're not going to run away. That was <laughs> MBC of Human Settlements, Lebo Hang Maile, speaking about the criminal injury cases laying against Mandisa Mashiko of the Economic Freedom Fighters and the EFF, saying that uh, they have damaged his reputation, saying that he's a thug, and he benefited unduly from the Alexandra Renewal Project. Also speaking about that term in the political circles of the Alex Mafia and how it links to the Treasurer General of the ANC, Paul Mashadil. Interesting admission there by the MEC that a company that has a relationship with his brother is doing business with his department.